Hello guys and welcome to another video. I quickly wanted to go through the Fulwark, which is a new building introduced with the Dawn of the Dukes DLC and introduced with the civilization, the Poles. Now, since this came out, there was a couple of different theories thrown around there on how this works. But to compare quickly the differences, you can see compared to a regular mill, it's a mill is two times two tiles, while a Fulwark will be three times three. So it's a bit more spacious, a little bit more awkward to place maybe on the bar barriers initially. But besides that, not really any physical difference. Uh, it also has double the HP compared to a normal mill, so that's pretty solid. Now, the differences come more into the cost and what it actually does. And the cost is 125 wood for a full work, while you obviously know it's only 100 wood for a mill. Now, the full work also gives you five population. So it is essentially the same cost as a mill plus a house. It's just a package, two for one deal, kind of. So now, if you go to the tech tier and why there's been some different theories thrown around is that if you hover over the full arc, it says at the end here, build near forge bushes or other source of food to gather food faster. And that's where people, I think, got confused because they immediately jumped onto the thought process of, oh, the full arc also boosts the gathering rate of the villagers and farms and whatever around it. But if you look at any other civilization, the mill has exactly the same description. It pretty much tells you to build near food resources to collect faster. Now, where the biggest difference and probably the be best thing about the full work comes into play is immediately collects 10% of food from nearby newly constructed farms. So it's everything that is built within a one tile difference, meaning the farms have to be placed exactly upon the full work. This farm would not give food. This farm would not give food. It has to essentially be touching the tiles that the full work is built on. This is the ideal way to place the farms. You can have eight farms perfectly placed around the full work. Now, and how this works. As you can see now, we're building a farm. We have 175 food on our farm. Pay attention to the, the bank of ours right now. You can see the farm finished and we immediately got 17 food. Now, this food also is deposited from the constructed farm. So the farm has 17 food less, but you will immediately get that 17 food into your stockpile. And it continues, obviously, once you get horse color, you have 250 food, so you will get 25 food per farm and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward, actually, how it works. And it's a nice little boost, but I just wanted to pretty much kill any theories out there that it's not a, a mill on steroids that gives you any gathering speed on farms or berries or any other resources around it. It's essentially just a mill, a little bit bigger, gives you five population, a little bit more expensive. And then it has this cool 10% extra or immediate drop off thing with farms that are touching the fall work exactly. So there you have it. See you next time.